Hey, it's Jay. Welcome back to a shocking episode of Plasma Channel. Are you inferring there's, there's sparks in this episode? Uh, I'm not, not saying there's sparks. <laughs> hmm. What's with the taser? Oh, this thing? Yeah. It's supposed to stop an assailant. You know, it's, uh, it's rated for 990 million volts. I mean, that's what the ad says. And I mean, pff, ads never lie. Isn't lightning like 100 million volts? Are, are you saying that thing is 10 times as strong as... <laughs> hmm. Guess you're right. God, you're such a Johnny Rain Cloud. Nonetheless, let's test the cheapest taser on Amazon. So this episode's gonna be fun. Now I will say I'm not gonna name products by name in this video because I don't want to slander anybody. However, in my experience, the more voltage a taser claims, the less effective it will be. That's because less effective tasers don't sell well based off reputation. So they have to give it a big poppy name, you know, like 31 million volts. And for perspective, three million volts would create a spark one meter long. That being said, this still seems pretty intimidating. Let's put it to the test. First up is takedown power. Will it stop an assailant or at least disable them? And I'm the test dummy. Here's the science. Delicious. While that was really, really uncomfortable, that A would not have disabled an assailant and B, let alone have stopped them in the first place but it really hurt. Number two, intimidation factor. This taser has a respectfully aggressive design. You have two sharp electrodes for your spark to jump across and two dull contact points for when you make contact with an aggressor. Couple that with the fact that it is absurdly loud and you have to scream to hear yourself. It definitely passes on the intimidation factor. Test number three, what is the actual voltage? We'll be using a standardized air gap method like we demonstrated a few episodes back. However, we need to physically block off this spark gap. Otherwise, when we push the button, it'll short out, and we don't want that. Air breaks down at three kilovolts per millimeter, so let's start at 30 kilovolts, 20, 18 kilovolts. Oh, 18,000 volts, that's much less than advertised as can be predicted with a cheaper taser. All right, on to our last test, which is how much use can you get off of a single charge, which this is rechargeable. Okay, so that test was flawed from the start. I forgot to fully charge it. That being said, I have tested it off the camera and it does last for about 45 seconds. That's not bad on a single charge. So my honest grade for this taser is needs improvement. But for $10, it wasn't half bad. But always remember, you get what you pay for. And despite my taser's claim of 990 million volts, it could not bring somebody down. So when you're doing a research on which taser to buy, don't rely on voltage claims. Rely on reputation. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to subscribe to Plasma Channel. Feel free to leave a like, comment, or question, and feel free to browse our numerous other episodes. You stay classy.